Now, while the attention of the world focuses on the civilian suffering in the Syrian conflict, human rights groups have been warning that repression in some other Arab states is escalating. They say that since the Arab Spring, the United Arab Emirates has been cracking down on dissidents, some of whom are secular liberals, while others are Islamist supporters of a local movement called al Islam or Reform. The Emirates Center for Human Rights says that three out of 51 such detainees have gone on hunger strike to protest at their continued detention. It also reports that in the last 48 hours, 10 more people associated with al Islam have been arrested. Last year, five activists who signed an online petition calling for an elected legislature were put on trial. Some of them were deported. The blogger Ahmed Mansour was among those put on trial, though he still lives in the UAE. He told me what happened to him. I was convicted of um, owning a site that allowed people to post some comments considered to be uh, humiliating to the president, the vice chancellor, and... I wrote personally a um, what I call the press release asking people to boycott the uh, the FNC election because it was, according to uh, my assessment and also according to the assessment of many other experts in the constitutional uh, law, it was unconstitutional. So uh, for that, uh, I've been punished, basically. And, and there were... Actually, there were no uh, real humiliations, and this, uh, you know, documents were examined by many of the uh, leading international uh, human rights organizations beside the United Nations by itself, which also uh, declared uh, my arrest along with the others as an arbitrary due to these reasons. You were pardoned, though, after the conviction. You are able to give an interview to me now. How harsh in reality is the crackdown on dissidents like yourself would you say oh it's just extremely harsh actually you know we are talking today and there were four new arrests only today by itself one yesterday and if we consider uh, the total number of arrests that happened uh, since i was released we are talking about uh, 56 uh, detainees that are currently taken by the state security uh, in UAE, and their whereabouts are uh, totally unknown. They are kept in communicado, and they, they are not allowed even to be visited by their lawyers. And a clear and a blatant violation to the, uh, you know, uh, the procedural law in UAE. So we are very concerned. Um, I mean, this is talking about the, the other arrests, and about myself, I have been, uh, yes, I have been released and were allowed to leave the jail, but I was put in a a larger one as well because you know they are uh, not expunging my criminal record hence i cannot work and not only that because uh, i also cannot travel because they they are held holding my passport and they are refusing to give it back to me since then so it's not um, an easy situation that i'm going through despite the fact that i'm speaking because i I do speak because I do believe in what I'm doing, and I'm um, doing that because I believe this is the best way for me to to show my patriotism and and uh, you know my love to my country. I cannot let my country um, uh, you know drag into our slide into you know a total policing state and stand uh, stand still without doing anything. Ahmed Mansour, you're listening to the world tonight with Felicity Evans in a.